Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today again is one of my suggestion videos and if you don't know what the suggestion videos are it's basically when one of my viewers suggests um, a car or a plane for me to review and um, then I give them a shout out in the video and I review the car or plane of course and I've gotten many suggestions and so you know here is just one of them suggested to me by Abigail Mateer Antonio's pit road gift pack. I never got around to actually doing a video of this because it was one of those things that I bought when I was moving so I never got to do a video of this. Um, but um, one thing that I did want to say, this is starting, I'm starting pre-recording now so this is going up on Thursday. I'm recording this on Sunday and um, I just need to get these videos out and um, just so you guys know any videos that comes that come out after this video won't have wait no, no, never I would I am an idiot just now. I was like in my head a few minutes ago I was contemplating, I was like, hmm, and then I realized that oh yeah that can that will work and then I just said I don't know, confusing I just just disregard what I was saying right there, but basically you just need to know that I'm gonna be pre-recording, so if you comment down anything and I don't say it in the next video, or if there's anything that's coming out new, I don't let you guys know. Um, I'm sorry, but I'll probably comment, though. And just so you guys know, you guys can still comment while I'm over vacation, because I'll definitely still reply. I'm very happy to reply to your comments on my phone, so, you know. Uh, let's get started here with Antonio and uh, his pity. <clears throat> So, this is one of the Pit Road gift packs, as I said. Um, it was actually one of the last ones to be released with Judge Davis. And uh, he is number three, the plane from Spain. And um, he, he's a very nice plane. He's actually the only model of that this plane is. You guys might think that Judge Davis is actually the same model. And they're not because, all right, you can see that there's um, these, the, his little, like, I don't know what these call it, the exhaust stick out and they're plastic right there while judge davis's are like solid metal on the car or on the plane i mean so that's different molding there and um i'm pretty sure the rest is the same oh wait no his uh tail wing is a little bit different see his tail wings textured Oop, can we focus please on the tail wing tail wing tail wing uh oh come on there we kind of go yeah um, but see it's textured right there and Antonio's is just solid but so there you guys can see that they're different planes let's get this out of the way so we can have some more room but um, he is number three the plane from Spain and now um, this is actually I have to say one of my least favorites um, I don't know what it is about it maybe is it's so big the propeller is so big I don't know maybe it's the expression I don't really know it just doesn't really appeal to me um, but he has this huge propeller guys like look at that look at that that is huge um, but um, he's got some nice look goes on the back he's got the kind of oh can we focus on the tail wing today but the uh, Spanish flag logo um, I'm pretty sure that's like the emblem on the Spanish flag and then he's got the FUD Rudgers uh, rather FUD Rudgers um, logo on the back there. it's probably one of his sponsors like many of the planes have sponsors listed but he only has one there and um, there is number three a checkered um, kind of design there and then we flip him over and there's nothing on the bottom except for the connector so it can connect to other play sets and um, he does not have any folding wheels because to have a folding wheel from Mattel you have to have a front wheel um, and two wheels in the back while this guy only has two wheels in the front and then just kind of this nub in the back to resemble a wheel and um, there is his number three again I have to say, I mean he has a very nice plane I. I just not sure. I don't. Something just doesn't really appeal to me about him. I mean, um, maybe it's just because they've made so many nice planes already that this one just one of my least favorites. What do you guys think? I I like his propeller though. Um, let's take a look at his pity. Um, according to the Meet the Planes book, his pity's name is actually Sancho, not Antonio's pity, but his name's actually Sancho. And I really actually like this pity. He's got kind of a um sad, or maybe just kind of I don't know. He's kind of a determined I, I say determined for all the expressions but he's just kind of like there not really emotion like sad or happy or anything just kind of there um not really worried or anything just kind of a, a resting uh face and again he's got the three 
with the checkered design just like Antonio does. No other designs on the um, back or anything but the same design on the side. And this is the general pity design for most of the planes. You know, you got your, uh, our, here's just an example, Arturo's pity or uh, Bulldog's pity. But there are a few pities that don't fit in that category, which here's Aishani's pity, who um, is different because it's got the metal dress over her. Very nice. Uh, I'm glad that they changed it up a little bit. I do have a review on Aishani's Piro gift pack too. And um, same with Bulldog. But here are some other pities from planes. Of course, Dottie's obviously different. We've got the mechanic belt on her uh, sides there and is a much different model. And uh, Roper, mm, of the Wings Around the Globe official pity is a much different. I mean, he's a m huge and he's got the big cap on him too. And uh, this is another one I didn't get around to doing a review of, unfortunately. Um, but uh, I can compare him to a car's uh, usual uh, pissing cup pity. Here, I just have Spearman here. And of course, the um, planes videos are a lot wider, um, but they are generally the same length. Um, they just kind of the planes ones are a little bit bigger, um, bolder, I guess. Not really bolder, but they're a little bit solid and. Uh, have uh, don't don't have the cap that the pissing cup pities do, and the, their forklifts are bigger and stuff. So that's pretty much it for the pity. We can take a look at the tent real fast now. Um, again, it has the designs of Antonio. Here, let me just move this away so you guys can get a good look at the tent. But it has the designs of Antonio, the checkered um, kind of Spanish color design number three, number three flag, and there it's got the Aeroflex sponsor. Um, this comes right on and come, goes right on. Um, no really big deal about that. These also come off, but these the legs come off. But I'm not going to take them off because they're kind of uh, challenging to get back on. So, you know, we're just going to leave it um, the way it is. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, thank you, Abigail Matera, for suggesting me to do this video. And I hope you did enjoy it. I hope it lived up to what you thought it would be. So, um, there you guys go. Antonio, the Spanish plane from the Wings Around the Globe rally, and his P. Sancho. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time, which next video will be Easter. Wow, I can't really think about that because, like, it's so early still, I'm pre-recording this. So hope you guys did enjoy, I keep, oh my god, I'm so repeating myself right now. But, um, have a nice day, goodbye now. <laughs>